I needed some drawer handles for this workbench I was working on and I was thinking something like the ones I put on here or on here but maybe a little bit more elegant because these ones here are big enough to use comfortably and some of these wooden commercial drawer handles that I got at a yard sale I haven't managed to break one of these yet so I can push things quite a bit still. So I came up with a shape for my new handles which bases the opening on the size on these ones here but a little bit wider on the sides. I'm making these drawer poles out of ironwood and I don't have a whole lot of that so I'm nesting them together to save a little bit of wood. But the way I have these nested together it makes it really difficult to turn around the corners with a bandsaw so maybe that wasn't such a great idea. After that I cut all the pieces to the same width on the table saw and then I cut them into individual handle pieces. And then there was the challenge of making a smooth straight cut on the inside of the handle and I couldn't very well do that on the table saw. I thought a router would be good and then I had the idea of just using my slot mortiser to plug that out. and then trimming the insides of the handle square with the table saw. I like putting a big round on the outside corners of these handles. That way it's less painful when you bump into them. And then cutting that round on the bandsaw freehand, it's not worth setting up a jig for just a few handles, especially because I can easily clean up those outside rounds on the strip sander. I clamp the handles together in pairs to allow me to route a round over on the inside of them. But that approach didn't work for routing the outside, so I came up with this jig of two thin pieces of plywood to clamp a pair in between. And in retrospect, I could have routed the insides that way as well. The next challenge was precisely and consistently drilling the holes in the handles for mounting them. And I just drilled two small holes in a scrap of ironwood and I used that as a drill guide to drill the holes. And then I made another drill guide to drill the holes in the drawers. This piece was my drill guide for drilling all the holes in the drawer handles and I used that same piece of wood to drill the holes in the drill guide for the drawers and that way if I had gotten these holes off a little bit, the holes in here would be off the same way so that the handles still end up being horizontal. And then this positions on the center of the drawer and I made this little thing to position it exactly in the middle. And I can check it on the other side if I want to. I am very pleased with how these came out looking and they're very comfortable to pull. I don't see the point of buying drawer handles for shop furniture.